What is going on guys? Welcome to your 32nd Java game development tutorial and I just got back from school and you know what? I am ready to make tutorials tonight. I'm going to make at least 500 tutorials tonight. I'm just in a good mood for some reason. Probably because uh, we got let out early and probably because I keep getting these comments from this hot girl on YouTube, Dope Fiend. She left me a couple cool comments about my tutorials and then I clicked on her channel and she's actually really hot so you know I'm a little giddy about that right now but anyways let's get back to uh, you know away from my personal life this is about you guys learning this stuff so before we get started in this tutorial we need to change one thing in the last tutorial we passed in a graphics object and we need to actually change it to graphics 2D so it's compatible with our super class and now we're good to go so in the last tutorial we covered all the methods from the mouse listener interface and now we gotta go over the mouse motion interface now the mouse motion interface is when you click and drag which is pretty much dragged or move the mouse and moving the mouse is just moving it around without dragging so there's only a holding down the button difference but let's go ahead and make a little comment and put mouse motion interface just like that and now let's implement the first method we need it's going to be public void mouse dragged so if you thought it was drug it actually not it's not drug like I drug the mouse it's dragged see a nice little bit of information as well so mouse event name it e and how do we handle this baby well if you couldn't guess we're just going to change the message and it's going to be you are dragging the mouse so whenever the user drags their mouse, it looks at this method and implements this bit of code. And what's the code? We just change a little message on the screen. So now we need to have implement the one other method in this interface. And that's public void. And that's mouse moved. Now mouse moved is just like mouse drag, but this is without holding down the button. See, I'm moving it right now. And if I click, now I'm dragging it. You see? Pretty simple stuff here, pretty self explanatory. Get my way, Haas. Now, this is also going to take mouse event E, even though we never use that E object, just passed in. And this would change message to equal um, you are moving the mouse. So now we already implemented all the methods from two interface the mouse listener and the mouse motion. Now, there's one other interface that we I think we did yep mouse wheel listener and this is if you have a wheel in the middle of your mouse to like scroll up and down like I'm doing right now then we can also get um, events from there so let's go ahead and add a little comment wheel interface oh I spelled them wrong cool and now let's go ahead and the method in this is public void mouse wheel move and we're just gonna go ahead and take let's see mouse event mouse event mouse wheel event so it's a little different and this is going to be E so now what we want to do is change the message to something whenever they scroll the wheel in any kind of way we want to change the message moving mouse wheel simple enough so now there's only one or actually one other interface but three methods that we need to implement this key listener and remember this key listener had three methods in it but we already handled those in this so all we have to do is aside from emit in it, excuse me, get key pressed. What happens if you press down the key on your keyboard, key released, and key typed? And let's just go ahead and copy those from, I don't know, it was probably like two tutorials ago. Copy, and we'll paste it in this new one right here. So now, when we want to stop running our program, remember, all we have to do is hit escape. And if you don't know what the where these are coming from, you have to watch uh, the tutorials from like five tutorials ago or something. So now, pretty much anything they do with the mouse or keyboard, uh, we're going to be able to capture that data and respond to it accordingly. And whenever we want to exit, whenever we hit the egg escape key, it's going to stop our program. So let me go ahead and run this, see if I got any errors, which I don't. And I know you guys can't see, but I'll tell you guys what happens. Right now, it says you are moving the mouse, and I'm moving the mouse around the screen right now. Now let me hold down my mouse button and now move it and now that's dragging the mouse so now it says on my screen you're dragging the mouse so what else did we do oh it said I release the mouse and when I press it it says you press down the actually it says O S U Y E because I spelled it wrong you release the mouse pressed released you are moving the mouse and I guess that's it I still have my keyboard press released F D 
and of course escape ends the program so none of you guys couldn't see any of that uh, but that's pretty much what it did if you run this program yourself then you're gonna get to see it but that is how you capture data from the user via the keyboard or the mouse and of course this is very important in when we're doing game development because if you made a game that didn't involve the user or the keyboard or the mouse at all it would pretty much be a boring game you might as well just make sudoku where you can't even look at anything it's like giving some guy a crossword puzzle without a pen i mean how fun is that seriously but for now uh, i just want to thank you guys for watching hopefully you're going to stick with me on the next tutorials and we are one step closer to making awesome computer games in the java programming language so again thank you um, that's all I got to say. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial.